Hello and welcome to the USF 2000 at Lime Rock. I uh, just did a USF 2000 race. I think it was the last race of uh, the last week I did. But uh, it'll be the first one of this week, looks like. Uh, first one I'm recording anyway. I think I did a Mazda, rookie Mazda race at uh, Okayama on my own time, uh, just for fun. And I uh, got second place in that one. Uh, I think that was yesterday. But uh, don't record those. But that race went well. So now we got this race. Which is interesting because I've done Lime Rock and the USF 2000 before, but not the chicane version. The chicane that we just went through. As you just saw. That's brand new. And I have the feeling that is going to be a car graveyard at some point. In this upcoming race, green flag, green that's going to be very, very scary in the first lap. And, uh, not sure how I feel about that. I just, I hope we can survive it. I almost don't want to qualify, to be honest. But, already out here. Hmm. Do I want to change my mind and not qualify? <laughs> I'm seriously considering it. Those, uh, you can't hit those turtles, though. Oops, you can barely touch the curbs like that without getting the car all messed up. You know what? I'm going to start in the back. I've decided. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull through pit road and give ourselves a penalty. So that way our lap does not count. Watch your speed limit in the pits. Engage limiter. Black flag. We'll need to go. Pit and uh, we'll just get some more practice in. We'll start in the back. Let guys wreck each other out first. And then we'll go for it. So it's, it's been a while since I took this approach, especially on road. Because usually track position is very important, but in this car... I just... I, I half expect to see a 20 car pile up. In that chicane on the first lap. And uh, I don't even think there's 20 cars in here. That doesn't change the fact I think we're going to see a 20 car pile up. They're going to come in from the parking lot. So, I think I'm okay sitting in the back, letting that sort itself out, because yeah, this thing breaks if uh, a fat fly lands on it, so it's not so great whenever a car crashes into it. We're going to avoid all that. So it looks like everyone else is qualifying. That's what I wanted to see. We got our uh, quote-unquote laps in. Got my breaking points figured out, I think. Just kind of want to hop out, because it looks like we're almost done anyway. We have Lucky Chop in here, which is a great racing name. Always great names on iRacing. Lucky Chop from the West. <laughs> Um, and we're one of two people that have not qualified, so I'm A-OK -okay with how this is going. It did count us finished, correct? Yes. Oh my gosh, look at all, how many incidents there already are just through qualifying. So the other guy that ha doesn't have a lap in did try to qualify, I think. Yeah, the number nine. They just got incidents both laps. So... You know what? I'm, I'm A-OK -okay with being back here. We're going to be... They're still getting incidents. They're out there still getting out. How? Good lord. Alright, well. I'm A-OK -okay with this decision. It was a late decision, but... We're going to let the 9 go by, because they... I assume are going to try to go through immediately, since they didn't intend to start last. And then I am just going to pick up spots. And then uh, I think we'll have enough time to maybe catch some people that are able to avoid wrecking and uh, hopefully have a good race. Don't wreck myself. I want to take myself out of it. Uh, I did not get as much practice as I would have liked, but I still got a decent bit of practice. And like I said, I've been here before in this car, just not the uh, chicane. And I kind of, I'm feeling a little more comfortable in there after I got a few reps in for that one, for that part of the track. 50.9 is my best, so if I had run my best time, I would have had P2. And uh, I, I still think I might even be able to get a little bit better than that. Um, 
during qualifying conditions, probably not. <laughs> the pressure would probably get to me. And I'd probably take it easier. I'd probably end up, I don't know, still top five probably, but none of that matters. I don't want to qualify. And we had not. I don't know who we're waiting on. We're waiting on the seven to do nothing, I guess. They did one lap and then quit and then just decided not to hit the blue button, I guess. Will we actually get it shortened because of inactivity? All right, nice. When it works, it's a very nice feature. So we've got people with seven incidents just in qualifying. Seven, six, four. That doesn't give me confidence for the race. That's why we're going to watch the chaos from behind. Oh boy, here we go. One to go, next time by. Line up on the left side. Deep road is closed. Thank you, Mr. Miller. Thank you and all. Good luck. It's friendly now. I guarantee you they're going to be yelling at each other in about five minutes or so. Once we're done with this pacing. It's nice. It's a decent field here. I think maybe because it's a free track. And it's not midnight yet. I was going to take him up on an offer. What did he say? I missed what he said. Um, it is a free track, so and it's not midnight Good quite yet. Gamer. So, I've got some decent uh, participation, which is great. I'm used to the fields being pretty small here in the USF 2000. Yo, Mike's a bit louder, Scott. Is that everyone? Uh, that better? Waiting on whoever qualified well, yeah. Another good thing about starting back here is I can keep my distance while they're pacing. Have fun, everyone. That'll be scary. Go easy on me. It's first time in this car. <laughs> oh, boy. First time in this car. Love it. Just what I don't want to hear. The truck temp is 80. Fahrenheit. I'm telling you, there's going to be a big mess. I'll be more shocked if there's not a big crash we need to than if there is. The you know, maybe column. it won't necessarily be a big crash. Maybe it'll be a lot of people going off and crashing themselves individually first. But I don't know, maybe I just don't have enough faith my uh, fellow competitors here. Maybe they'll be great, and maybe I'll wish I had qualified. But I'm willing to learn that while being safe back here. Catch that 13, car. Catch car. And we make it through the chicane while pacing. That's my next question. Catch up to car number thirteen. Pretty sure you don't have to take the chicane, do you? Pretty sure you can drive through the left, but catch thirteen, car. No one else did it, so I'm assuming they know something I don't. We made it through that. Trial number one. Go green. Stay focused. Hitting the brakes for some reason. Okay, the high car is in. Go, go, green, go. green, green, green. Alright, we're off. 15 minutes left. That's Somehow ahead of minutes. two people right now. Seems like some people are taking it easy, that's nice. I like that. Here it comes. Here comes the chicane. Get your cameras. See a lockup. Oh my gosh, we did it! Yeah, well done everyone. <laughs> 
I guess I'm not the only one that's surprised. Well done, everyone. Say. We'll see how many people decide to still take it easy on lap two, or if they're like, oh, we're gonna take it easy lap one and then go for it lap two, and then that's when we'll see the fireworks. Go on ahead. We got a wrecker. Goodbye. Ooh, that guy's almost off. Like they barely hung on to the course. I'll say, I, I think I do like having the chicane here a little bit more than ramping off the hill <laughs> and the other uh, configuration. Because this car gets so light when you go over there, go over that hump in this, uh, whenever you're flying through there. I prefer the chicane. 13th place. That lap was a 53.0. Oh, this guy's getting sideways. It's just so scary, the concept of racing people when you're just assuming they're going to wreck. Uh, more people getting sideways or getting off course a little bit. Got an eagle eye on the people in front of me. You guys are uh, pushing a little bit harder. Cutting it a little closer through there. A little bit of arrow push maybe there. Got a little tight. They're playing with those curbs. Not sure if that's very uh, advised. You've just done a 52.1. Pass through here, but. This guy's kind of slowing me up a little bit. Oh, we got a crash, we got a crash. Alright, alright. That's two more spots. Glad we didn't get run into from behind. Now we can catch up to the field a little bit. Hold back as much. See if I manage to wreck myself. Is this guy going to try to pass me? Hope not. Hope he's patient. P11. Kind of nice having a. Uh, uh oh. Uh, mean. Okay, good. Apparently, uh, it's kind of nice having taken it easy those first couple of laps, too, because uh, it means. That we didn't have to really push at all while the tires were cold, which is pretty scary. Took our time and we're good now. Tires are feeling pretty good. It's nice. The leader's just done it. 50.9. Can start trying to hit some better laps. What place are we in now? Okay, Colton. Hold your nerve, just keep it smooth. No mistakes. Tenth position. That's your quickest lap in this session. Always a fun car to drive, though. I say it every time because it's always true. Uh oh, chicane troubles. It sounds like. Ten minutes remaining. Ten minutes. Keep digging. Here's someone off. So it's more like the uh, individual crashes than the big crunch I was expecting. Option number two. 14 still been patient behind us. I know they could fly past me with the uh, draft, so... P9. Cool of them to choose not to and be patient. That guy's almost spinning. Holy smokes. Caught up to him a lot there because of that. 
He's trying to stay steady. We're in ninth, we're in the top ten. Getting up to 15. They're pretty fast in the open practice ahead of time. They just sent me a message when I beat their fastest lap. They were like, oh, nice time. And I was like, thanks. And then someone came in and like beat it by a second. And I was like, <laughs> thinking, uh, no, that's probably a nice time. <laughs> it's nice of them. Say hello. Ooh, overdrove that a little bit. We're good. Ooh. Time to check up for him. So he kind of gets a little off. I'm going to slam into the back of him, that's for sure. Some extra space here as we head into the chicane. Why? Just don't know how they're going to take it. Need him to either get out of the way or pick up the pace, though. That's a new fastest lap for Wonk, 50.5. Your take here. Left side. Still there. Still there. Clear. It's got to erase at some point, I guess. <laughs> Good pass. Alright, I knew I was faster than him. Uh, oh, oh no, it looks like he might have had problems. I hope I didn't okay. cause that or influence that. Actually not trying to get him nervous to the point of wrecking or anything, just trying to get by. So I felt like we were uh, being held up a bit. I had to navigate it as cleanly as possible, and I think I did an alright job. Alright, so 4.8 seconds to the front of us, ahead. So I think that puts us... P8. The gap behind eight. is now 0.7. Gotta be delicate getting on the throttle. I feel like I probably could push harder, but I also don't feel like I necessarily need to at this point. I'm happy just surviving. Especially right there, it felt like it got pretty uh, light on me for a second. Could have snapped, so. Just gotta make it to the end. Finish well, you first have to finish, as they say, or something like that. Or some quote like that. <laughs> we gained about. Uh, half a second on the guy in front this previous lap. So we are gaining. And they are the number one, so that's a that'll be a good one to try to catch. Uh oh, we got another crash. I did not see anyone though. Oh, the guy that was in first you crashed and they got it going left. again. You got a slow car on the left. Or did they? Go right. Oh, they're broken. Whoa! Left side. Right guy the coming up behind me really fast. Clear. Right side. Came Almost to the killed left. me. Still there. Seventh position. Clear on the right. If you want to go so fast, why don't you go do it then? You're faster. Better not hold me up, though. The only reason you caught me is because you decided to go That's a little more dangerous toward that wrecked car than me. Let's see what you got, then. Well, they're pretty fast. Alright. I'll follow them. I'll take that draft. Sure. Take that arrow too, but it's just kind of part of the exchange. He was patient behind me, so I'll be patient behind him for now. P8, what's going on, mate? Come on, get your act together. That lap 
climb was 52.3. Unsettled there. Looked like to me, anyway. It always could just be that they're a little swervy just because of connection and stuff. There's usually people from around the world in these uh, road races, so it could be just, you know, they've got uh, a little bit of an off connection. Makes them look more sway y, if that's a word, than they actually are. Fourteen having a great run though. Don't mind staying behind him. He's uh, going pretty fast. Three minutes left. I wouldn't mind a longer race. I feel like just the longer we last out here, the more chance we have to pass people. was a 51.6, sector 2 is 0.3, off the pace. In this 14 are still catching up to the people in front, looks like. 2.9 seconds to that number 2 up there. It was... didn't they get the pole? I think they were really fast. They were really fast in the open practice. I wouldn't be surprised if they got the pole. Ooh! A little bit unsettled there. Didn't take the chicane as straight as I would have liked. Took longer, wider turns, which is just two minutes not the way to do it. To I really think this 14 might just be faster than me. I'm keeping up because of the draft. Eighth place. I think I'm faster in turn one. 1. Probably that's about it. They're on the back bumper, this too, now. I almost wonder if they have damage. They look like they're uh, not turning right or something. Might have front wing damage or something. So I'll have to be careful going around them, knowing they can't quite turn as well, potentially. Well, you just got to be aware of your situation. But uh, not only your situation, but the situation of people around you. Hopefully he backs off knowing his condition. But it does not look like that will happen. Left side, car stop on the left. Clear, car on your left. Yellow flag. Car Go crash. Right. Stay on the right. Ooh, Clear. we were almost part of it too. That's a lap Go car right. and they are almost coming back on the track. Thompson has just been disqualified. Someone disqualified? How do you get... How do you get disqualified without your car already being broken? That many off tracks? How are you even getting off tracks without crashing? That's a weird one. I don't know how they managed that. Set up that chicane again. Oddly enough, usually this car seems like it gets more nimble as time goes on. It kind of feels like it's getting less grippy than. It was earlier in the race, at this point. That's strange. Could just be me, too, not driving right. P7. White flag, one more to go. Sector 1 is 0.8, off the face. Sector 2 is 0.4, off the face. Sector 3 times OK. It's like when I push, I am a little faster in the 14, but... That's just, uh, inviting danger, inviting mistakes. What about Rocky?
That's right. It, not quite enough draft for that to work, but. Okay, it's over. Well done. What happened with the job? All right, seventh place. I'm okay with that. Good job. Clean seventh place. It wasn't quite as much of a wreck fest as I thought, and that's why uh, didn't quite finish as well as I think we could have. But uh, it was a guaranteed way to start in the back and uh, get to the end, which is nice. I'm gonna park it. Let this guy go by. Alright. It was good, Mr. Chop. I enjoyed it very much. What, um, did you slow down at the end? You should have had third. Alright, so we started 14th and gained seven spots. And we pretty much followed the 14, or the 14 followed us for a while. And then we followed the 14. And, uh, I appreciated their patience. Now they already left, I wouldn't tell them otherwise, but they already uh, decided to head out and catch the next race or something. But seven spots is a lot to gain in a road race. Uh, most of them, of course. Uh, most of them, of course, were people going off course. So, but we did make a, you know, a couple of passes, which is cool. Uh, Mr. Chop, I count myself a good racer if I race clean. I appreciate your clean racing too. So, you know, there's no use accelerating into the side of an accident, I always say. Everyone was pretty polite. It was a very nice group here. It looks like people had their troubles, but seemed for the most part everyone knew that this was going to be treacherous. Thank you, buddy. Look forward to racing you again. Here's the first mistake we're seeing in the uh, chicane. You have to go in forward, though. No, I, I think I was zero length the whole way through, Mr. Chop, so I, don't, I think I avoided everything. I think you're just a bit faster, that's all. Ooh, that's scary. Oh, he did hit him. I didn't think the red car hit this guy, but I guess he did flip him as he was going by. Just barely. That stinks. This was the guy that started uh, last next to us. It was not so fortunate. Kane claiming another victim. Oh, what happened there? Oh, they look like they got all kinds of unsettled all the way through the corner. I oh, maybe caught that car a little faster than they expected and then they couldn't catch it. Ooh, and those curbs. It's 14 that was following us. Hold on to it. And it uh, looks like they overshot turn one here. Oh yeah, that's much too deep. They were still on the gas much past the breaking point. They just must have spaced out. I've done that before. Just completely missed the braking zone. Hey, at least they got out of it without damage. This is car number one having issues. As they were racing in that top five position. Anymore. Oh, that's that uh, turtle. I guess that's a turtle, right? The red part and then the curb is. I don't know. I don't know road racing terms. So this is for the lead. Messing up the chicane while going yeah, through. Well. And they crash. Oh, right. It wasn't worth oh, no. asking you, because it wasn't your mistake that you slowed down, it was the mistake in, of the guys in front. So, you know, you deserved your position there. I didn't think I should have taken advantage. The only thing I had someone breathing down the neck. So that two did have damage, and uh, that's how that the guy that was leading ended up crashing out. Blinks. So many crashes in this chicane. Oh, and he ramps off of the latter half of it there. There's no way the nose is still on that thing. Number nine has had their handful of issues this race. That one in, uh, that one's a minor one. Lots of blinking in this race as well. Oh no. 
I believe we came up on this crash guy, didn't we? At some point. I think we would have already passed, though, maybe. I don't know, maybe not. Weird. But, uh... This guy reacts to it. Just a little bit too harshly, I guess, and loses it. People are being good about not uh, rear-ending guys. Through the chicane. And it looks like that's it, so... It seems like uh, most of the crashes were from people just racing the track and not running into each other, which is, that was great. Very respectful racing. That was awesome. And uh, we were able to move forward. I'd say the plan worked just fine. Starting in the back and letting the race come to us. I mean, I can always roll the dice and, you know, start up front. And maybe I get a better finish, but, you know, the chances of crashing out are much higher as well. And uh, I'm perfectly fine. With the top half of the field and uh, having a clean race. In fact, I was one of two, okay, four people that uh, had no incidents. And I certainly wasn't at 12 or 11. So <laughs> that's great. So, very nice. Um, solid race. Feel pretty good about. I right, hope you enjoyed. It was a fun race. Always fun racing this car. So, I'll see you next time. Have a good one.